So, because I just want to go through the whole uh, exercise, yeah? The first function? Okay. Yeah, the first one, basically, I have given the uh, verbs, yeah? The be, bid, become, begin, bend, bite, hire, break, dig, build, cut, deal, drink, finish, yeah? So I'm going to go through this exercise. Uh, then uh, if I have got time, I'll go through the rules. Because here you have to set, use certain rules, okay? When you are making sentences, okay? So the first one is simple present. That's what I asked, right? Okay, simple present is, you know, the sentences where it happens regularly, you know, that's the rule, irregularly, you know. So today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or yesterday. So it's called regularly, right? So the other second rule is, if it is true, that particular sentence is true, then that you can use that simple. So it's called present simple, right? Say for example, right, sun, rotates okay sun rotates it's a it's true right so no one denies that it, it doesn't rotate it rotates right so you use that it's called that true so if it is true then you can use this present simple right and the otherwise um others sort of you know repeatedly happening again and again and another thing is um we can use, when you use, it's called always. Always mean, it, so, you know, it happens very frequently. When you are using always in front of the verb, you have to use present simple, right? Okay? So these are the rules you have to follow when you are uh, making sentences using pr uh, present simple, right? Okay, so pre what the, the present simple for B is, right? If it is singular, right? Sing. Right, singular and plural, right? Plural, plural nouns. So singular and noun, what you can use is B, B is the... um. Uh, the verb you use is, right? Okay. And the plural you can use am and are. That's all you got to do. Okay. Am is basically for I, right? The otherwise sort of, you know, you use are, right? So here the sentence I'm going to make. I am happy, right? Okay, if I want to um, uh, extend the sentence or make it bigger sentence, I am happy when I see my mom, right? So I expect you to have some creative thinking, right? So that's how sort of, you know, you had to develop creative thinking means. So just rather than, you know, writing one sentence, you make two sentences with, this is called conjunction, when, right? So it looks very nice and very creative. I'm happy when I see my mom, right? So you are expressing, right? When I see my mom, I'm happy. So that's how you have to communicate with people, right? So all you can replace with when I see my friend, right? Okay. It's very simple. We, you are sending the message, you know, I see my friend. When I see my friend, I'm happy. So one, two sentences using conjunction, that is when and making a long sentence. And again, when you're making a long sentences, you give more information to the other person who is reading it, right? 
So I'm going to talk about later on, but everything is here, so I'll go through it. Okay, next one is the beat. So beat is uh, the present tense. So um, simple um, sentences, I, I bet, um, say my friend, every week because I'm extending this because this again conjunction because he does he doesn't return my soccer ball okay so when you are writing long sentence, you are basically expressing your feeling and you are, you are talking that. So if you say just, I beat my friend every way, so that means not enough information. Why you, people think about, you know, they, they will ask the question, why you beat your friend? But when you are providing another sentence with the conjunction, because, so now people can understand what you are, why you are doing it. But this is a, just an example, right, for how to sort of, you know, uh, make sentences. Okay. Tell me, what's your question, Dinushan? Uh, just now you write one sentence, right, sir. I beat my friend every week. Yeah. Uh, we, so what's put, your... we can write like this. I beat my friend sometimes, sometimes because... Like that, we can, sir. Yeah, because this this is you have to be very careful here. That's what I sort of start at at the start. I told explained. So this one, the you know when you are using B, this is called present simple. The rule first rule is if that happens, you know, uh, repeatedly, right? Repeat that. Or if that is the true, that it is true, that sentence is true, then you can use. See, because that's why I'm saying every week that is made repeatedly, every week, then you can use beat, right? Say sometimes mean, because it is not repeating, right? Sometimes mean, you know, once in a blue moon, once in a way to. So that is not regularly, okay? So then you can't, right? So then we say, I beat, so because the past tense and the um, sim, uh, past tense and the present tense is same, beat, 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 right? So that's why you might think that sort of, you know, people use for that, but that is basically past tense. You can say, I beat my friend sometimes because he doesn't, right? So that is perfectly that good a sentence for past tense, right? When you are using past tense, you can use it, right? Sometimes. But if that happens regularly, so you have to use. But unfortunately, this beat is um, a simple uh, present is paid. Sorry, present simple is paid, past simple also paid. Same spelling, same pronunciation. Okay? So far, so good? Right. Okay, next one is become. So the rule is important here. That's what I'm emphasizing on rule. Rule one, two, three. Yeah? Okay, become, right? So the, here also you have to use only present simple, right? So I'm going to use um, I. So you can okay. put I become an officer. Okay. So again, I told you that here the rule is important. I'm saying, so I become or became officer once. You can't be, you know, you can't become officer every day or every year, every, right? So it should be repeated thing, right? Okay? So that's why, so you have to make sure 
whatever you say, it should be repeated or true, right? Okay. Um, so I, I'm trying to make a sentence. I become annoyed, annoyed, right? Become annoyed, made. I am, I'm, I'm angry. I become annoyed, right? So um, uh, with my friend, because he keeps calling. Um, calling me, uh, it's called, um, you know, calling my name. It's, I, I, I don't know you are in a position to understand that meaning, but probably I'll put a simple word, keeps calling me idiot. I know, sir. Right. So, um. Okay, so um, I become annoyed with my friend um, uh, because he keeps calling me. So this is because he he does always, right? So that's why I put, I become annoyed, right? It's because this is repeated thing, right? Because he is telling again and again and again, again repeatedly, right? Okay, um, the next one. Okay, begin, right? Uh, I be begin uh, more, begin uh, my okay. homework. I begin my homework. Right. Um, okay. I'm trying to. So, so it should be. Um, um, it should be a repeated thing. So. I'm thinking, I just want to leave this begin, um, right? So, sorry, the, uh, because it can't be begin, it's a sort of um, uh, conflict, there is a conflict. Begin means sort of, you know, every day, um, so you start, once started, then sort of, you know, so um, I'll just uh, leave this one out, right? So I'm not going to talk about it, but I'll um, show you the um, probably continuous, percent, uh, past continuous. So the, I skip this one and the next one is bend, right? So I bend my knees. Um, I'm, I bend my knees when I do and I do um, push-ups. You know push-up means? Sir, it's an exercise. Yeah. So bend the knees when I when I do push-ups. So that means every time I do, so that is repeated things. Okay, good. Uh, repetition, your, yeah, ask me question. Sir, I don't want to actually ask a question, but I want to say a sentence for begin. Okay, tell me the sentence. I'll, I'll see whether that is correct. Tim begins to run in the running race. Right, so, okay. Is that sort of happening repeatedly? You, you know the meaning of repeat? Yes, sir. Right. Tell me the sentence is, is that, that that happens every day or every morning or every, is that repeatedly? No, sir. No, right? No. So if it is not happening repeatedly, so please don't use it. That's the rule, okay? When you are using simple present, uh, simple, oh, sorry, present simple, just it should be uh, repeatedly happening or repeated action, or that's the true action. Say, I said moon, or oh, sorry, um, sun sets in the east, right? 
and um, sorry, sunset and the sunrises and then sunsets, right? So when you look at that, the true sentence, true meaning, right? So in the morning and then um, um, in the afternoon or in the evening, okay? So that's an example. It got to be true or repeated action or happening. So then you can use it. Otherwise, don't use it. Yeah. So you just follow the rules. I have told, it's, it's the third time I'm telling. So remember, right? When you are making some sentences, you remember the rules. Right. I'm keep going, right? Keep going. So when you... Um, right. If you don't want to ask question, don't raise the uh, hands. Okay. So Ben. Um, so I bend my knees. See clearly what this is every day. It's uh, when I do push ups. So that means whenever I do push up, repeat at time. It's happening again and again when I do push up. When I do push up, right. So that is that action, repeated action, right. Okay, the next one is higher, right? So the present tense, I, higher. Uh, headset, headset. H -E -D, headset. From my friend. Every day. Or every day mean repeated, right? I hire or I headset. Okay. Right. The next one is break, right? Uh, um so I, I'm going to change a little bit um uh, the sentence. My sister Uh, breaks and a glass every day. Okay, so the next one is the dig. So again, my mom digs because um, she Sorry, makes a, a hole to plant, to plant um, trees. So um, we say every week. So my mom digs a hole to plant trees every week. So that is repeated things every week she does, right? So the next one is cut. Uh, okay, again, uh, my mom cuts vegetables. Vegetables. For, bre for breakfast? For cooking, for cooking. Every morning, right? So again, that is a yes. repeated thing, okay? And, um, so um, tell someone about the drink. It got to be repeated thing. So I drink. I drink healthy water every morning. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Healthy, um, did you say healthy drink, healthy juice, right? Yeah. I drink, drink healthy uh, juice health at the morning. Okay, not at the morning, in the morning, right? In the morning. Sorry, sorry sir, I made a mistake. Yeah, it's okay. I drink a healthy juice in the morning to make... Myself happy. So just to sort of um, um, extend your sentences, um, that would appreciate because you are expressing more. 
you have to be more creative, right? Uh, my dad uh, finishes, uh, he finishes his work at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. every day. So she begins her school on um, a holiday, begins her holiday, she begins, uh, sort of, uh, journey is the best word, um, journey, journey um, to um, Sydney every year, right? It's sort of, um, Everywhere, yes, yeah, sort of she goes to Sydney. So that's my, I said, uh, she begins her journey to Sydney every year. So sort of, you know, reasonably okay, but yeah. Um, I mean, you don't need to be so uh, accurate, but, you know, this is reasonably okay. I'm going to uh, move on to... Uh, what is that? The next one is about uh, present continuous, right? So present continuous. This is the verbs I have uh, given. Feel, find, fly, forget, forgive, grow, hang, have, hear, hide, hold, hurt, keep, nail, right? Okay, the continuous, uh, now uh, the form, continuous form is Feeling, finding, flying, forgetting, forgiving, growing, hanging, having, hearing, hiding, holding, hurting, keeping, nailing, right? Okay. So continuous also, you there is a there are a couple of rules, right? Okay. Let's say um, the continuous also, you got to, if it is an action or happenings, you can use that continuous form, you can use it. Say, for example, right, simel. Simel is not action. Simel is you feel, your mind is simel, right? Taste, that's not action, right? So you can't use ing. I am simeling. No, I simel, right? I taste, right? Then here, here is also not action or happening. So I hear, right? So ing form, you can't use it with those verbs, okay? That's rule number one, okay? We talk about rule number two later. So this is a sentence already. I sort of form, I thought I'm trying to um, spend too much time on it. So I already formed this one up. So I'm feeling tired, but here, so feel is also, I can't just see, say I'm feeling, right? Just, uh, but I'm adding another, it's called adjective, I'm feeling tired. Then you can use that ing, otherwise you can't. I can feel it, right? We normally use feel, I can feel it. Can you feel it, right? But you can't just simply use uh, feeling it. But when you are uh, putting um, adjecting next to it, then you can, right? So I just given the sort of example, but I will go into details later on. But I'm just for the sake of writing, I have written this. I'm feeling tired after running for 30 minutes, right? Say there again, this is fine also. I can find. Can you find, right? So um, those things only you can use as present simple, ing verb is. But when you are using ad adjective next to it, then you can. I'm finding difficult to spot my dad in the crowd, okay? So can, can you all understand this? I'm feeling tired after running for 30 minutes. You understand the meaning of it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. So the next one is I'm finding difficult to spot my dad in the crowd. You understand it? Can you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. 
So the next one is, um, this is also a bit of, but, you know, it's more, it's called, um, when we are, this is rule number two, we um, use ING form, already decided, say tomorrow I'm going to, already decided, today I decided flying tomorrow to Sydney, I decided, then I can use ING form, right? Say I am I am meeting my friend tomorrow. That's me. Even though future, but already decided, then we use ing four. That's rule number two. Okay. But I'm I'm sure. But I will go into details the next uh, probably next class or um, the class after. Sorry, class after. Okay. Say so see the forget forget also normally you can't use it I can I forget I forget you don't you don't say I'm forgetting that is I keep forgetting because keep is helping the part to put that you know ing verb ing form okay so but at the moment just take it as sort of you know um, using continuous but you know that is different meaning actually right okay. So um, this is okay. I'm growing because that's the action. You are going and doing, growing, right? Growing mean you are going and doing. You put uh, sort of vegetables in the garden and growing, action, happening, something happening. Then you can use ING verb. I'm growing vegetables in the garden. See this one, hang. That is also action. You are going to put that, you know, hanging the painting, on the wall, right? So I'm hanging a painting on the wall. The action, you can use ing, right? So this is have is mean, right? So that mean eating, having mean eating, right? Have, that's verb is here. I have given the verb have, that mean here, I'm using have for eating, right? My little sister is having a bowl of rice. Okay, bowl of rice. Okay. So that is ING verb is, uh, you can use it. Hiding. So that is another action. You are hiding physically. You go and, you know, sit under the chair, right? So behind the chair. My mom is hiding behind the chair, right? So the next one is my dad is holding, holding. That is action two, holding, right? Um, a little dog in his arm, you know, he is holding it. Dog is sitting and holding it, right? In, in, in his arm. You can't say in his hand, in his arm, because dog can't sit in the hand, right? Hand is only this area. So you have to use proper noun in his arm, okay? Right, um, we're going to look at the past tense now. So past tense for this thing, uh, uh, these are the verbs I have given you, okay? So be, I told you that is the verb, right? Past tense of be is was, was for singular, or I, you can use was, and the plural, you have to use ver. So that is the verb and so you all understand that be is verb, and when you are using continuous, so continuous be in, right? So be the, this is simple, was being. So this is basically um, sim, uh, present simple, past simple, and the, this one is continuous, okay? But that's the verb, okay? So I was happy this morning when my friend was walking into my classroom. So I made the sort of long sentence to, otherwise if you say I was happy this morning, why you are happy? So you are giving the reason here because my friend was walking into my classroom, right? So next one is a beat. I beat a stray dog, stray dog, you know stray dog is, right? Last night when it was coming at me, so that means it's coming at me because you are scared and you beat a stray. See, can you see that B? This is past tense, but still same spelling, same pronunciation. 
Sir, why is stray dog? Who is talking now? Okay, petition. Yeah? What is that? What is stray dog? What is stray dog? Yes, sir. Okay. Stray dog comes in now. It's a, the dog is the one sort of, you know, hanging around the road, you know, just uh, there, no, there is no owner, right? So that's called stray dog. Tirunaya, sir. Sorry? Tirunaya, sir. Tirunaya, yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. So I, so I beat a stray dog last night when it was coming at me, right? So the next one is, uh, I think become my sort of, I haven't used, but I can put it in there. Uh, um, so um, my dad's um, became a president of president uh, the um, community. Oh, I put local community president of local community. Yeah. So became, so past tense you can use, okay? Then next one is began. Begin, past tense is began, right? You can say that all I have put the, so I just uh, put be, became as well. So I began playing tennis yesterday afternoon, right? Then uh, next one is I bend my knees to do push up. So in here, just only one, you know, not every day. See, I didn't put every day here because I bend, uh, or I can even add yesterday or this morning, right? It should be passed. Um, sorry. So then um, next one is my little brother. So by past tense is bit. My little brother bit an apple and left it on the dining table, right? So that's the sort of, you know, um, more uh, giving a more sort of a creative thinking, I like to say. It's very creative, this one. My dad hired a taxi in front of our house to go shopping. Right, so hired, you know, you can see the red uh, word is uh, the past tense, right? My cousin broke his leg while playing badminton, okay? The next one is my mom dug a hole to plant a banana tree, say, last week. Uh, it is all past, so you can use that. My dad's friend built a nice house last year. That's past tense. Uh, cut, past tense of cut is cut, right? So I cut my finger while helping my mom in the kitchen last night. It got to be sort of, you know, past. That's ten, what's it? N R G H T night. Very okay, good. So the next one is um, deal, dealt, right? So dealt means sort of you are dealing with, okay? My uncle dealt with businesses to make more profit. So that means dealt means doing sort of business, okay? Uh, so, so he, yeah. What does profit mean? Which one? Dealt. Profit. Ah, profit. So profit is say uh, you are say in the shop, right? When you go to a, a shop to buy chocolate, right, or piece of chocolate, right? Okay, sir. Then you 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 um you pay fifty cents, right? But that um so actual prices, right? Because he buys from somewhere else. So or he bought uh, some from somewhere else for 40 cents, right? So he's selling to you at 50 cents. So the profit is the difference between 
buying and selling prices, right? So 50 minus 40, 10 cents. So that is his profit. So profit is made, um, make money out of that, um, whatever he sells, right? That is called profit, right? Apa Tamil la sonna pona na profit, profit and na naayam and solo na naayam or naayam na tam prof loss and sen na na tam naayam and sonna profit and na kila right. So that's how. So profit in English profit means when you make the selling price minus buying price. So you buy from somewhere else and then sell to your customer. So the difference. If you are not making money, the mean losing. So the buying price, uh, selling price may be less than the buying price. So you are losing money, loss. Right? Okay, you clear? You yes, sir. Okay, good. So next one is I'm drink drinking tea now. Before that, I drank coffee. So this is some. Now I'm drinking tea, but before that I drank coffee. So it could be before that. That's why before that mean past before that. Okay. The next one is I finished all my homework yesterday. Right. So the finished is the past tense, all my homework yesterday. Okay. Any questions? Who no question, sir. No okay, question. Okay. Sir, can we say like this? Yep. Uh, for finish, I finished all my work yesterday. All my work. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that, that's good. Uh, <laughs> um. So what you are trying to say, what sort of work? So that's what I, you have to be creative. Say, for example, um, garden work, right? Finish. Give that sort of a... Right? I finished all... Finished? Finish All my work. All my... Um, like how to say like this? I finished washing plate yesterday. Right, okay. Okay, so you can say, uh, very simply, we call it, right? I finished, or I did, yeah, finished washings. It's called washings yesterday, okay? So um, say um, another one, like, you know, how I say you can say housework, right? Housework, and you can say um, uh, cleaning, sorry, cleaning work, or you can say, um, uh, housework, cleaning work, uh, what else? Um, that's homework already said. Um, uh, so if there is no particular name for it, so you can add the, it's called pronoun, pronoun. Just put in front of it and then say it, okay? So we will go through um, further sort of, you know, pronouns and the names later on, right? So I'll just move on to the uh, past continuous. Uh, past continuous is a thing we are using this one, right? For past continuous, yeah, right? So past continuous is basically, uh, uh, so normal, you know, we use the two sentences, right? Past tense and past continuous. Um, Together, we use that sort of, you know, commonly we used, right? So the continuous, past continuous is very useful when you are using with past tense, right? Say I'm writing, okay? So <clears throat> when I was feeling tired, right? That means in the middle of yeah, sort of, you know, in the middle of that action, right? Tired, I'm tired, right? Middle of. 
when I was feeling tired, okay, I feeling tired, I um say I saw when I was feeling tired, I saw my dad. Walking towards me. Right? So, what is happening is so, see this. Sorry, I just changed it. Press the uh, walk towards me. So, here. Walking towards me, say here that's rule number one. So you can use this is um, continuous. I just highlight this with the red, and again I highlight this one too, right? So you can see this is past continuous and past tense put together, right? So that is rule number one. You can use past tense and the past continuous together to make a sentence, right? Okay. So you, I think you all can understand, right? When I was feeling tired, I saw my dad walking towards me. Okay. So the next one is uh, finding, right? I, I'm going to say again, uh, my sister walked in. Walk into walk into my room when I was finding my um, homework. So I just, uh, sorry about that, finding. So next one is flying. Say again, you can say, um, when I was flying, when I was flying to Australia, I met my old friend so always you know this is a one i'm sort of showing you but probably next time because i am running out of time i'll show you other examples right um so forgiving is sort of i want to skip because i had to find this sort of right word growing yeah so growing so you can write this one also. Um, there is another rule, right? So one sentence comes, oh, probably, uh, you know, it's running out of time. Otherwise, I can uh, explain the rule number two. Probably next class, I'll explain the rule number two. So I'm just, uh, okay, um, just the rule number one I'm following, right? Um, then I was... Uh, growing uh, ch chili, chili, chili plant. I saw grass, grass popping, popping up in the soil. Right, the next one is uh, hanging. When I was hanging, hanging a painting, the nail. When I was hanging a painting, the nail uh, came down. 
Okay. So the other one is uh, when I was having having my lunch. Uh, my friend called me on the phone. Called me on the phone. Sorry. So next one is hearing. So hearing also... Uh, because that's the so it's not an action, so I just leave that hearing as well. Hiding. Then my little was hiding under the under the bed. Under the bed sir. Under the bed, good boy. Sorry, yeah, so I think, so you understood and, you know, um, so I'll, um, I think the video clip is available and I'll send you this one on the, uh, right, I'll finish and I'll put it on the uh, WhatsApp, right, okay? Thank you, boys, thank yeah. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, thank you, sir for teaching, yeah. sir. Thank Bye, yeah. sir. Have a nice, yeah. have a nice yeah. day, sir. Yeah, you yes, too. Sir. Okay. Bye. Bye, bye. Sir. Good night. Good night. Good night, sir. Bye, bye, sir. Thank yeah. you for teaching. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you.